Yo, what is up guys and welcome in another Truck Day R video. Today I'm bringing you another update. Uh, Big Man has been working a lot on traction and engine power, engine delivery. So today we've got quite a, li a little bit of a longer video because I want to show you guys the work that has been done. And as always, you will find the change log down in the description. I also have to mention that he worked a lot on the rear brake as well. He made it pretty much... 90% close to real life now when you go to lock it up I have 100% uh, uh, brake force right now so it should be pretty much an immediate uh, lockup and as you can see when I press the rear brake the rear brake rear brake locks up so that's going to really help you get around the uh, tighter corners or square up especially in supercross that's a very very good addition to the game brings a different style of gameplay so if you're a guy that likes to square up corners or make passes cut down lines and stuff like that this is going to be very very helpful in this video today i'm going to be showing you all the bikes so 125 252 stroke 254 stroke and 450 we are starting from the 450 which is the one that i wanted to talk about first because i feel like we are at a good point right now there is still a little bit of tire slip but Overall, it has improved so much. I'm really, really happy. It feels like you're riding a 450, so you don't have to go always crazy on throttle. You have to actually manage it, especially on difficult sections and outside of the corners and on G-outs and stuff like that. So I'm actually really, really enjoying the 450 right now. And it's starting to feel closer and closer to uh, real life. I've ridden, for I've ridden 450s. Since I was 16, I am almost 30 now, so I feel like I kind of have a little bit of experience on how the 450 should handle. I was not a super fast rider by any means, but, you know, just the many, many years of experience, I feel like should help me give the proper feedback on this bike. And I have to say that right now it's feeling very, very good. Figure out the rear brake a little bit, need to find my power, like the brake power that I like to uh, square up the corners but don't exaggerate it but as of right now as you can see the 450 has power when you need it but you also have to be uh, very careful when you are giving throttle you don't want to go 0 to 100 on the throttle input because otherwise you're either going to wheelie or you're going to slip out of the corners and as of right now it's feeling very very good also in the air it's feeling smoother and smoother i have to mention we didn't start working on the whips yet but as you see when i'm throwing them it's starting to look like super super smooth which is a very very good thing so that's the 450 covered now let's move over to the 125 okay so here we are on the uh, 125 in my opinion one of the best bikes to use right now the best overall feeling also regarding the uh the traction and stuff it's feeling very predictable very uh, very good in the handling and it's giving me like the uh, most precise feedback on throttle also when it bogs down like this you know it's starting to struggle get back up to speed which is uh very good like a 125 should work and it i'm really enjoying the uh, engine right now don't worry about the sound we haven't worked on the sound just yet this is just an engine and traction engine delivery and traction update as you will see in the uh change log you see me crashing on the uphill. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to restart. Yeah, so as I was saying before, absolutely losing a shit ton of time on the uh, on this uphill. This 125 out of the bunch feels the uh, one of the most improved. And as I'm struggling to get over this hill, I, I, I hit the corner way too slow and I, it ruined pretty much my, uh, my run on this uh, horsepower uphill. But yeah, the 125 right now is feeling very, very good. I'm really enjoying the uh, the engine delivery. I cannot wait to uh, work on the clutch to make this bike even more peppy and really like use the uh, higher RPMs of the engine to get out of the corners and stuff like that. So not much to cover on the 125. As, as, apart from it's been really, really enjoyable. I'm I'm liking the uh, the speed of the uh, the overall speed of the bike. <laughs> And with that said, let's go and switch to uh, the 252 okay, stroke. So here we are on the uh, 252 stroke. 
So this bike should be like the uh, 125, just a bit more powerful. As always, ignore the sound because it hasn't been worked on and <laughs> what a good way to start too much rear brake right off the bat. I didn't set it lower just yet because I want to keep it 100 and s learn it first and then see if I like it a little bit less powerful. But yeah, so far this is feeling very very good especially on landings. I like that the uh, bike puts power to the ground but it's not like exaggerated. I also like the shifting of this bike. We had a little bit of a problem in the first implementation of the uh, this new uh, engine and traction on the 250. It was uh, bogging a little bit too much from second to third gear and that seems to be fixed because it's starting to give me more speed whereas before it started to bog down and I was losing a lot of speed on the shifts. So yeah, good improvement on the 250 and wow, I'm riding like shit boys. It's Saturday morning, but I'm riding like I've, I'm riding like I never played this game. I don't know what's happening. So hopefully I can give you a, c a cleaner lab to actually show you better. Let's see how this bike fares with no outside speed on the corner on this uphill. Oh yeah, that's good. That's very good. So uh, why am I saying that's good? Because before on this uphill we had a bit of a problem that even if you were pulling back with the rider and you, the bike had too much torque the game will read it and make the tire slip and that didn't happen so that's very good fix I'm actually really happy on that especially on the 450 that hill if you started slipping it was a complete nightmare and now it's been fixed and you actually need to have some skill to hit it fast otherwise pretty much you won't uh, <laughs> you, you, you won't go anywhere now, I've never ridden this track, but I've seen some videos and that hill seems pretty steep, so I should have replicated it, not to perfection, but at least to a decent degree to where it's actually difficult to make it up with a certain amount of speed, so it should be a good test for this engine and power delivery updates and I just ate it again on the same section <laughs> I'm very sorry but overall this bike is feeling a lot better again I'm actually I don't know if I prefer the uh, 125 or the 252 stroke right now I have a 252 stroke right now so I might be a little bit biased to the 250 but I have to say that as of right now they both feel amazing and I am very happy with this update. It was a much, much needed update and I cannot wait to see in the future when we work on the clutch as well how it's going to change the overall gameplay once again. Because with these updates, like it might not look like on video that it's changing a lot, but trust me, the gameplay pretty much on every update like this, you have to take your sweet time and learn not to play again, but almost because it changes so much that your brain is used to playing on one way, which might not be the right one. So it takes a little bit to uh, get used to the new way of playing. But once you get used to it, you actually start to understand how stuff is actually working different and better. And yeah, this is feeling very, very good now, guys. I'm really enjoying this. I could spin laps on laps on laps without ending. But anyways, we got a video to do. So let's jump over to another bike that got a huge improvement which is the uh, 250 four stroke so here we are on a 250 four stroke as i mentioned one of the bike that got super super good feeling to ride now it's a very close battle between this 250 four stroke and the uh, 250 two stroke and the 125 because i feel like out of the bunch this right now being a four stroke so you don't really need to use the clutch as much as a two stroke so the engine delivery of this bike right now, it's feeling, I would say, 90% close to how a real life 250 should act in almost every situation. So the uh, engine on the lower end of the RPM is torquey, but it's not excessively torquey where you could slip tires on the third gear or coming out of the corner, like in real life pretty much. And I'm actually really enjoying the overall power delivery of this bike because when it gets to the a little bit of a higher RPMs, it pushes you really well. You like you gain a lot of, a lot of speed, and 
it's feeling very good to ride very easy to ride in a way like the engine reacts in a way that you would expect it to giving the feedback that you're you're giving it like giving the inputs that you're giving it um, it's a little bit hard for me to put it into words but um, yeah it's a little bit hard to explain like the feeling that I have right now but pretty much the bike reacts like how you you would expect it to is nothing no wheel slipping of the tire if it's unnecessary it does slip when it when it needs to so that's very good like let's say you come into a corner way too hard way too hard on the throttle on the exit the rear will step out so that's good also on landings there has been fixed the uh, the tire slip when you land you actually put power to the ground if you land the revved up right now which is good and what else can i say boys i'm super pleased on this update it was much needed i'm actually really really enjoying um i would play this game for hours even solo without multiplayer which is some which is something that's pretty much never happened since M mx sim like in 2017 2018 was the last year that i played that game solo so that's very good i'm actually really enjoying playing right now i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below what you think about this latest update as always i will leave the uh, change log down in the description big up to the big man for this super huge improvement i have to say i'm very happy cannot wait to see what the future holds and this is all for today boys i will catch you in the next one peace